This is Henry Frederick of NSBnews.net, and we're here today with Sandy Adams, uh, running on the Republican side for the 24th District for Congress. Uh, welcome, Ms. Adams. Oh, thank you. Nice and um, so, what distinguishes you from the field, uh, and leading up to the August 24th primary? Well, as uh, we have released here recently, we have some very nice endorsements, and uh, the reason we have those endorsements is because I have a proven record of conservative leadership. And those endorsements are the NRA has endorsed in my race and has endorsed me. The American Conservative Union has endorsed in this race and has endorsed me. Uh, the National Tax Limitation Committee has actually endorsed in this race. And also the Florida Right to Life and the Republican National Coalition of Life for Life um, all have endorsed my candidacy. And that's because we do have a proven record of conservative leadership. Uh, Sandy, what would you say to the people of the greater New Smyrna Beach area? You know, a lot of them travel down to this Kennedy Space Center for, for their jobs. You know, we have waterfront property that's languishing because of the economy. Um, what would be the one thing that separates you from the field going into that primary in terms of economic, uh, uh, economic assistance or help? Well, I am the only one that has actually truly worked with a large a bureaucratic budget such as a state budget and also understand that we do have issues at the Cape and this administration is either short-sighted in their decision to uh, decide not to continue manned space flight. We have a lot of people losing their jobs. That is uh, just unbelievable. On top of that, they want to hold off on doing any kind of manned space flight for the next several years, which in fact will um, hinder our ability in the future, which is uh, very short-sighted. We need to continue manned space flight. We need to continue the research and development aspect of it. And not only for just the economy side of it, but for our national homeland security side. That is where I believe that we have some short-sightedness from this administration and from our state, our U.S. congressional member. And I would assume if you get by the field on the 24th, that would be much more pronounced between yourself and uh, Ms. Cosmos in terms of the ideologies. Oh yes, um, uh, Representative Cosmos and myself have a very distinctive difference in voting records. I have a strong conservative voting record. She is a little bit less conservative, more to the liberal side, and has followed lock and step beside the uh, Pelosi Obama administration's decision to do the government takeovers from whether it's your bank your uh, health care, and now moving on into energy and other aspects of our lives. So yes, there is definitely a difference between Suzanne and I. And, and wrapping things up, um, there's a lot of uh, energy, anti-incumbent sort of uh, feed, a feeling this year. Um, how well do you think that propels you into the future with a potential showdown with Cosmos in the fall? Well, um, I understand there's a lot of uh, frustration from the voters, especially in Florida and in the United States, and it's because their representatives aren't listening. And that's the problem that we have. Whereas in the district that I have represented for the last eight years, when you ask the citizens I represent, they will tell you that I do listen, and I have listened. And I have always gone by one motto, and that is representative is not a title, it's a job description. I work for you. So when you look at the differences between myself and the way that my office, our office works with our constituents versus the uh, way that the congressional office works and the way that our congressional member actually does not listen to her district and her constituents, therein lies the difference. Oh, for uh, Sandy Adams, this is Henry Frederick of NSBnews.net, and uh, we look forward to uh, seeing the results on August 24th. Thank you. Thank you.